So now that I'm done disconnecting stream by mistake, we are ranked 95. We really need to win our incoming matches uh, if we want to stay top 100. So let's give it our all. Uh, we do seem to be back live. Everything's all right for you guys. Don't want to be solving technical issues too much. <laughs> all right, that seems good. Hey, Mako. I uh, learned a little bit on your Monster Hunter stream. I haven't played that, but it seems hella fun. So we are fighting Hubris, and they are, I believe, speed up off. So that's going to be a bit annoying. Uh, but they are also running Dario, Cloud, and Black Rose. That's going to be an interesting team to fight. Uh, I say interesting, but realistically, if it's speed one... Oh no, my brain already hurts. It's a slow-mo fight. Why? Why would they do this to me? Alright, well... We'll punish him by being as uh, aggressive as we can, I guess. Against a team like this, I do need the point warp start. Oh boy, these animations are terrible. I wish I was the host. Let me just take a look at these VCs. Uh, okay, do they only have two VCs? They only have two VCs. Okay then. So I'm not feeling especially threatened by their team com. Dario's not going to provide a lot, I think, in manual. I could be surprised. I know, um... I know Mysidia played some Dario action, and he did really good. Um, but I... yeah, I'm not too sure what to expect here. New starting positions? Mine are the same as yesterday's, but... Yes, they're rather new, and the reason being I've, um... Uh, I want to make sure I get protected against uh, some uh, cheese blade action. And in the case of my team, I am able to change the starting uh, rotation to uh, get some decent stuff going, even with this. So it felt fine. So we're gonna get the protect and shell. Pretty important for survival purposes. You doubt the rest of their strategy. <laughs> I don't think they need it, I think they may be just, you know, they're playing on a different stuff than usual, and uh, it, uh, they're not, they did not set the speed for, for this account, maybe, or something like this. I can just pop him before he plays, right? Yeah. Unless he reflexes, and because of the reflex threat, I'm going to have to use this. Because it decreases ability activation rate. So now he can't reflex it, so I know he's going down. They do have French subtitles? That is fun. I didn't realize that, Azok. Hey, Enkoku. How are you doing today? Yeah, I, I especially like anti-reflex moves. I think they're pretty important. So I'm gonna Storm Scythe on her. Nah. The healing is really minimal. Stun Blade feels more impactful on the Black Rose. Did not get the stun, but the chance was there. And now she plays again, and she could AoE. I'm not sure why she used a single target move last turn. So yeah, Tenable Rose makes a lot more sense, and I don't, I haven't put up major barriers on anybody, so. Oh, it's 7.35, it's exactly the same time here uh, in Koku. Uh, unfortunately for me, I have the option to work from home, so uh, immediately when I go off stream, I, uh, I go uh, basically upstairs to my office, and then I begin working. So they did take one down. Uh, yeah, it is super slow-mo. That is uh, a little bit painful, but we have to keep going. I can't kill the Black Rose as easily as I would want to. Why would they use Blade Toss instead of something like Skyhammer? 
I guess uh, it's all I can land from here, right? Well, you know what? She'll die from the next attack either way, so I'll just play toss. This is just going in with raw stats, basically. <laughs> That's what this fight is coming down to, but I don't mind. It's going to end the uh, slow-mo fight faster, which I'm very happy with. I do not want to use the inability that deals re reduced damage, because she might have the magic barrier, uh, magic damage reduction passive, and counter from Spellblade. And if she had this, uh, then that would not have been a kill uh, with the, the minimal damage. So it just felt better to do this. Battle of Mage Supremacy? Yeah, basically. Their Dario is not especially tanky, so he's going to go down. So that's a wonky first match, uh, but I liked that at least if they're going <laughs> at no speed up, at least they uh, they fought me head on. They didn't just wait in their corner for a very long time. Uh, but yeah, they just they don't have the damage to, to do much, I think. So far, so good. Yep, yep, so far no crashes, which is a big upgrade over yesterday's matches. There we go. Again, I should have factored in the, the fact that he could parry uh, and reduce incoming damage. That might have been a mistake, uh, but I don't feel like even if he parried it, it would have changed the outcome. So match one done. So, so far I've heard of a lot of double quickens being played. Um, this season, and I've yet to meet one, so I'm curious to see. I feel like that maybe could be something we struggle with. Uh, then again, they would need massive damage to tear through our team, because we are pretty bulky. But yeah, that could be something I'm scared of fighting. Day 3, no CV yet? Okay. So yeah, I've heard of it, uh, but uh, I haven't met any uh, myself. So, maybe the position is not as useful as I thought. So this is a very fun team they're running. The, the difference between them and mine is they are going to be very weak to ice teams. Uh, they're also on Odo, so, you know, that changes everything, and I don't quite see how we could mess this up. But we'll play it carefully, because, you know, I've been, I've been surprised by Odo comps more than once, to my great shame. And I would rather not give them a, a win that we can avoid. Oh, unfortunately, yeah, time to time to spine. It's a bit fast. Right at the start of slot one, <laughs> that could be. So Chocobo, Leonis Castle, and a gift like no other. They are going to have a lot of damage, and I'm going to ignore their tank. That's fun. It can't reach the lower right corner no matter what. So I've heard uh, of people starting right in front of it. Uh, using CERN and Halloween the Dalila, and um, with Eldira's TMR rushing, but I don't think it's going to be a lot of people. Yeah, I, I know the tank has hate, but I, I don't feel like respecting their hate. I'm gonna wait here, because I don't want Leela to hit me just yet. I want Leela to just run to me. Uh, oh, I forgot to, re to take... Uh, put attention into what Leela did, so I'm not sure what buff or anything she put on herself. Uh, so I'll just take a look at this. Yeah, yeah, King Gregoria, I agree. Uh, does she have physical magic shield? Alright. So if I go in Tifa's range, I need to not be... Okay, I'm not in overpower range. I'm in range of other abilities, which is exactly what we want. Uh, and then, yeah, Quick and Leela is carry, but my team is designed to have the Spellblade stop job. That definitely helps against uh, against her, normally. So we take one Storm and Rend. It's gonna slightly screw over our agility, but that's not too bad. We are then going to use Resist Magic, I guess. It will mean getting overpowered by Tifa, which might not be a brilliant idea. Maybe I should just go here and not care. Ah, uh, this is a bit complicated, actually. 
maybe I can assume Joom doesn't need resist magic or something. Yeah, let me play it safe for now. And just spread out. Actually, do I even need to move to throw this out? Yeah, I do. Okay. From here, I can hit a single one. Yeah. I don't like the fact that I'm giving them AoE attacks, to be honest. I feel like I'm not playing this the best way. Uh, but then again, their AI might just heal them back because, you know, they have a Alila's AI. So if she just heals, then the threat doesn't really exist. Yeah. There we go. So all they have to do to shut down their AI completely is use Storm Siphon uh, and decrease incoming healing, which I feel is what I'm going to do. So we'll do that. And then with the... Uh, oh, that's not the ability with healing power down, was it? Which one was it? I need to remember her kit. So now the barriers are broken, which is a bit of a shame. Uh... And if I want to advance into them, I need to do it like this, because June has hate, blah blah blah, power through king. Great. So yeah, we're just, just playing to the fact that the AI cannot ignore our uh, our tank. She's going to go back to healing. Wait, what was the healing power down move? Do I remember? Oh, it's Maiming Slash from the Nightblade sub. Dummy. Alright. <laughs> well, now I remember at least. I'm just going to keep them damaged, it's going to force uh, Lila to keep healing forever, which eventually results in my victory. Uh, Maiming Slash, currently out of AP, so I'll just AP drain her. There we go, now she's going to basic punch. Lila still healing. That's going to be her third cast of High 3 Kira, so I believe she's out at this point. Oh, Jooms also down to basic attacks. Fred with Vega and Curl is faster than CD's turn. Ooh, that is interesting. I don't want Arunger that much. I would love to plunge on Leela. There we go. Oh, if she counters me, I basically die. 29% chance to get countered and get wrecked. I kind of not don't feel like doing this anymore. I'll just start making everybody else. All right, then. Leela's counter is too good against Noctis. I don't really care about killing Tifa, though. I can Axiom Leela from here and start going through her. Let the dice roll? <laughs> maybe, maybe I should. I wonder if Joom can finish Tifa. I can finish... Leela off, but I don't think so. No, I can't even hit her. Alright then, so that's the case for Maiming Slash now. We did gather some AP just for that. Yep, great. So now we pop the Courage. Leela's gonna keep healing. She's probably gonna run to them and heal because she wants to get healed herself as well now, which is perfect. So now they, they put themselves in the AoE positions. I'm surprised how much I struggle with killing them. Their, their bulk is just very scary. Um, Skyhammer, great choice. This time, not getting countered. Uh, but I feel like... I say great choice, but Warp Strike would be better. It also negates counters. Imagine if it was, if it was manual. Yeah, my team would struggle against them, I think. So there we go, and now that we've forced them into a disadvantageous position by taking advantage of the AI, we can do just... Yeah, this is this is good. We can deal with June last. So now our June skips a turn, theirs has 2 AP, and it's basically over. So... In the book of how to kill an enemy Doom, first thing is decrease their single target resistance. Then the second thing you need to do is decrease their defense. And then ideally, once you've done both of these, 
you want to decrease their slash resistance with uh, Noctis' LB, but unfortunately I've already used his LB. So I'm gonna have to just use Axiom. But I, I like the fact that our team has set up moves that they can use from one another. Uh, but there we go. Queuing up for match three now. Let's see what this day has got in uh, store for us. So far, I've really been enjoying my team. Obviously, Mono Ice is uh, an issue, but I like that we have ways to deal with both physical and magical threats. Oh boy, okay. We are getting really weird matches today. Uh, okay. Well, I can't. I'm not gonna complain. I do have the option to match with uh, auto matches on because it does help uh, ranking up, but I mean, we'll see. Hello, Buenja boy. How are you? Yeah, we're fighting the Final Fantasy X squad. That's a little spicy. I'm gonna try to play it quickly because, again, against auto players, I do not want to waste their time. Uh, this is match number three, uh, Eon. So you've only missed two. Um, one of them was a strange-ish manual team, but it was a fun match. Uh, and then it was just a slugfest. Everybody ran in the middle and hit each other. And then this one, uh, the second one was Odo, and the third one is also Odo. So I'm getting a lot of Odo this season. Kraken Trousseau. All right, fine with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, my garden. Last match was not as fast as I would have wanted it to be. But this team was just so bulky and had a Leela. Yeah, I don't... I usually don't match against many Odo players, so this feels surprising to me. Uh, but we seem to be getting a few now. I'm not gonna run her too far ahead, there's no reason to. <laughs> yeah, I think this is my fourth one this season. I'm gonna use Vitalize, because I'll need it against their healer. No reason to move from here. Maybe that's just going to protect herself, make sure I don't get popped by a wild, hasted Oron. So Oron does... Oh boy, Immobilize on Joom is not great. Uh, okay. Well, we'll have to deal with that. Um, is it worth using anything else, or just hitting him? Dance of the Whirlwind with single target resistance seems worth it. Hey, Loji. How are you doing? Especially since uh, Titus basically only has Tonic Blade he can use, let's say, OE, and if you use it, he wastes his entire AP pool. So I'm kind of happy with that situation. Everybody pops their stuff. Yeah, Oron is still a powerhouse to this day. He's a unit I'm always pretty scared to fight. Uh, so here I've got the three-man Skyhammer, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't have Power of King, so it's not going to hit as hard as some other times, but... It's decent. Oh, okay. Well, that also is a thing. Uh, so do I want to heal or can I just pop them? I can pop one and then Joom goes. Uh, but can Joom kill anyone? Can Joom finish them off? I don't know. I'm, I'll take the risk. I'm just playing this uh, slightly risky. Yeah, she can. Great. I wasn't. I didn't remember the damage she had, but it seems fine. Yeah, GG. So there we go. Made this short and sweet. I like that we're not using Keen Blade or other stuff like this. It's. It feels different from most teams I've played in the last couple seasons. They died in a line. Yeah. Well, Odo. So yeah, moving on to match four now. FF team died just like FF team. Oh boy. You're uh I never played FF10 too though, honestly. Maybe I should. Uh I played FF10 uh, the first one basically a lot. It was my uh, first Final Fantasy game uh with uh, I guess Final Fantasy Tactics uh advance on the Game Boy Advance. So they were like the two first games I played. I uh, never got to FF10 too. Uh don't know if it would be worth it for me to do that now. Maybe. 
Oh yeah? That's a sad game, story-wise. All you know is they ruined... <laughs> yeah, they changed the, the design quite extensively. So we're fighting against Odo Off, Venki Saragi. Um, and my... They have a Fred, so they have Gunner. Is it Fred Cloud Niflu? Or is it some different combination? Texas Advance? Yeah, Texas Advance Primordium was my favorite game for so long. I think I played it completely, started over, played it completely again two or three times. Uh, okay, so yes, it is the uh, Keen Blade plus Quicken combination. They are going to have a significant amount of damage, uh, and I'm probably not going to care. Okay, interesting. They have the barrier on everybody. It is, I think, a good TMR to use, but I prefer my Nivlu to begin with... Um... Oh, okay, and they moved and used Bell, so they're wasting CT right now. That feels weird to me. Uh, but yeah, I prefer Nivlu to begin with uh, Quicken. I find that this is... Oh, sorry, with haste, so that she can get uh, a faster follow-up. Right now, it was an interesting start. Yeah, the team you hate most, I think everybody hates this team. Uh, but fortunately for me, it is a team I can deal with. Um, it is a team that mine should be able to win against, normally. Uh, the point warp feels like a bit of a waste here. Uh, but it does, again, place me for the barriers, which is what I'll do. So just because I want to get my TMR barrier up, I'll do this. Yeah, I believe, I believe that they will not manage to kill both Jim and Noctis. That is what I hope for, at least. So, just out of curiosity, I really don't do much yet. Uh, what I want now is more protection. Ready. And hopefully to not die too quickly. This seems like a comfortable spot because I'm close-ish to my other guys. Uh, they're going to use barrier breaks and... They're gonna basically either they do a lot of damage to June because she doesn't have double resistance yet, so she's not that tanky. Only 53 defense, 50% missile res, and 25% slash res. Uh, but yeah, I can heal her if she gets a turn, which is I don't think she'll get a turn because Nivlu will get to cast Quicken and it will have time to resolve on Cloud. Cloud's gonna get a double turn, and by then. Jum will be dead, probably. Uh, but by then, Cloud will also have used up most of his AP. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like she has to cast Quicken here. If she doesn't cast Quicken on Cloud to give him a double turn, they're basically throwing the game. Uh, but maybe I sent Jum away ahead too quick. Hmm. Yeah, I think I sent her ahead too quickly. So Ascension is the Barrier Breaker move that is going to be good for them. 5,000, what the hell? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cloud, looks like you're uh, too strong. <laughs> yeah, I think I sent her too deep. I uh, I agree with your, uh, your assessment here. It's this guy, hey minute. So let's see if I can make anything happen here. Best I can do is heal. I don't know whether healing her will save her or not, uh, but I'll try. Leela watching Cloud Ascension on Doom. Yep. Well, now here's the thing. They quickened Cloud, but look at his AP. He's got 22. He can't use every move in his kit. He does have a one-hit lightning chain. So I think if he uses a powerful move, he will kill her, which is what I'm scared of. She's now at 63 defense, but he basically ignores defense. Yeah, Braver would hurt, but I think he'll try to go for Keen Blade. Yeah. So they're really messing around with CT right now. Uh, does Keen Blade allow Nivlu to hit me? 
I'm at 61 CT. She can qui- oh boy. She has time to quicken again. This is really an annoying team to fight. Where is Swolbez? Swolbez? I did not pull for Swolbez. I uh, wasn't that interested in him, to be honest. So, yeah. In either case, they popped everything they needed. Uh, everything they had on Doom. Yeah, Poison Lance. Poison is a bit bad, because it's going to do quite a bit uh, of my total HP, since I have a lot. Uh, but Slow Arrow, Movement Down, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised she didn't quicken there. I think giving another turn to Cloud would have been an overall better move. So here I can do a good setup turn. Uh, but I think this is an even better setup turn. So Reflex does not dodge AP Drain, if you guys were not aware. So even if he popped the Reflex, it's not going to matter. So there we go. Now he's got a Cloud that can use AP skills. And that's it. Joke's on you, Reflex does not work against me. Yeah, exactly. But Trials, I know, Minute, but Trials is not worth the, the money I would have to spend to get him, because I don't have the Viz for that. Uh, okay, now that we are here, we still can't hit them, because they are very far away. Uh, do I need Bells? I mean, I might as well. He'll reach next turn anyways, so I'll have enough AP. Blow everything on Joom. Yeah, I did. I did blow everything on Joom. That is a, a fair assessment of what happened. So that is not worth it, I think. I think I just want to keep healing Joom. Uh, because they're still trying to hit her. So, you know, might as well give her a nightmare of a time. Uh, hey. So what's going to happen here? Cloud is basically out of AP. He's got... No, he, he's got some back. He's at 29 now. Uh, Niblu can try to quicken again, but this time she can't cast it in time for before June plays. So that's not too bad. Her hate is working even on manual. <laughs> yeah, it seems so. And now, look at that Fred. If she goes for Minotus, she does no damage. Uh, but And now her Bells has run out, so she has 100 AP to work with. She's probably going to throw... This player seems to not like to quicken, so I think he'll go with his limit break here. Uh... That makes sense. Oh yeah, Mako, you completely uninstalled? Haste remove. Was she still hasted? I'm surprised. Uh, so should I just AP Drain Cloud again? Or should I try to hit? I don't feel like hitting does anything for me, so I'm just gonna AP Drain him. And then if I move here, can he follow me? Yeah, he can. So you know what? Since I AP Drained... I'm just going to stay here and be happy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to die, though. I'm going to die because of the poison, and then Cloud has enough with his basic attack to finish me off, I think. The poison landing in a single hit was a bit unfortunate. Oh, I lived. Well, apparently these things do happen. Uh, so now I could Skyhammer them both in the back, get rid of Niv, not get rid of Fred, though. Eh, I don't want to give them a quick end. I'll take it. So, Fred lives by a sliver of her health. Uh, can I hit Fred from here? I can. But, I can also just keep healing. Nah. Joom's playing next. Let's do this. <laughs> you guys want to see the heal? I mean, I think I've given them enough of a healing nightmare already. Uh, what about a Stormwind Rend? I don't have a good position for Stormwind, huh? Like, I don't have one that doesn't kill myself or hit... But not this, but I will take this. No reflex? Lucky? Great. Yeah, I just hit myself, I know. I don't mind hitting myself, I do it all the time. Alright, that was a pretty good one. So we're on to the last match now. Uh, this has been a pretty fun day so far. Uh, let's see what we get as our closing match. So, 
Oh boy. Uh, okay, so this guy, Diamond won, so he's won more games than I have so far in the last couple seasons, and it is Starlet Elena. She is cute to hit. I do have some weird, uh, <laughs> some weird expressions, huh? Oh, okay, this is spicy. It's not exactly a light team. Uh, so Smite the Dark, Chocobo, I Gion. So they're gonna be accurate, uh, but not that much. Accuracy will not matter anyways. Elena Kingmont. I have to be wary of the Berserk. Uh, I do think some of my units have Berserk resistance, uh, but I would have to double check which. Uh, I think Noctis and Joom both have it, uh, but maybe I'm wrong. I know Joom has it, right? I'm not sure. Uh, they're very fast. How are they all so fast? Compared to me. Yeah, I'm impressed too. But that's mostly the um, Halloween Little Dila factor, I think. Where she costs basically nothing. Uh, we'll move here, and then we'll take a look at in detail. So she has only 1000 magic, not the top magic build. Uh, they did put on the barrier, so they have... Okay, he's not set for damage. He's, re he's really set for the Berserk. And she's also got weaker magic than a Bahamut setup, so that's not too bad. Yeah, they must have given up on something in terms of Espers. Uh, I'll just take the second. My resistance is to Berserk. Non. 50%. So not enough to completely negate it, but pretty good chances. And none. Oh boy. Alright, so it's not great. Only Noctis really resists it. So I have reasons to be afraid of a um, double turn strategy where he preserves everyone. Do you want to give her Elena a chance to hit me right now? No. No, I'm kind of fine with not giving them this, the first hit. Well, they do have good healing, so that's definitely not good for me. Um... So now I basically need to spread out their Leela. We'll have a chance to rush and hit everyone. So I need absolutely need to spread out here. Uh, but I think, oh yeah, no, they might, you know what, I think I just lost, because I did not realize Leela would get Keenbladed into a possible double turn. So this could be terrible, or maybe we'll somehow survive through it. I'm not sure what to expect, because now Leela will go, she'll rush forward, and she'll hit everybody. That's what they uh, plan on unleashing, and then Keenblade her. And it does seem like a good strat. Let's go CT. 88 to my 38. Yep. Mmm. Very scary. Or maybe she won't pull the trigger? I would be surprised. I feel like she really wants to rush. But maybe she'll just settle for a hit on Joom. Oh. Oh, very curious. I really thought they would do the Keen Blade Wombo Jumbo trying to kill me strategy. Hmm. So they're really just sending the other the other girl in, in the front. Uh, how much do I need if I want to get rid of Leela? This does a bit of damage. What about Plunge? It does remove the barrier though for follow-up turns. I will Plunge. Yep, this is it. Get rid of their healer, get rid of their biggest threat. I it, I don't like what I did, because I gave them a two-man Berserk. So now he can just move in and Berserk two of my members, and maybe I'll lose just from that. But, uh, so I think what I should have done, but I panicked a little bit for our time, was move, uh, let, just hit my own Noctis, and uh, kill their Leela. 
but we'll see. He has to pull the trick on these two, because uh, Noctis is Berserk resistant. But if he fails to realize that Noctis is Berserk resistant, I am at a huge advantage. So I guess we'll see. Oh boy. All right. He was uh, too stressed and skipped. Uh, he will have more time to uh, think it over. But that will give me a bit of a chance here. Let me see. AP draining Starlet Elena seems tempting, but I want to AP drain Mont more than anything. I unfortunately give them an AoE attack, but I prefer the AP drain. So now Mont is basically a non-factor, but Elena can LB two people. I don't think she will. I think she'll choose to kill my Leela. If I, if I was her, I would kill Leela. If she can, assuming she has the damage. Because, uh, again, a team without Bahamut, so they don't have the same damage as some other Starlet Elena builds. So Crystal Shine Bright, not enough damage. Uh, King Mont cannot reach because we are buddy, blo buddy blocking him out of uh, follow-up, and he only has 2 AP. Uh, but he could move here and use Kylum Pride or Keen Blade. There you go. So they did end up throwing down the Keen Blade, uh, lapping, and now they will kill Leela. Uh, Leela for Leela, not a bad trade-off all things considered. And then start Elena's still hasted, which is a bit obnoxious, but we have to do with what we've got. Uh, so they are moving... I guess they don't want to give us any AoE option. Hmm. I guess I have to start doing stuff, right? This is not a great turn, honestly. I wish I had something different I could have done here. Um, but we had to throw this out here. And the way they positioned forces me to have a bit of a tough time, too. Oh, boy. All right. Can I Stormwind Rend her? Yes. Great. This is what I want to do. So agility down, very impactful, and then spread out. Uh, Kingmont has 23 AP now, which is fine. AP drain Elena, uh, she's got a slightly too much AP, I think. Uh, Kloji, but maybe I messed up. I drained 40, and she's at 80. Yeah, it would not change the matchup too much. Now what they can do, though, is AP drain my Noctis, which is what they should do. Uh, I wonder if they will recognize that, but it's what they have to do. It's their best play. Or they can try to Berserk. Mm, what the hell? Okay. This was a thing. Uh, so now, unless Starlet Elena can burst down Noctis, her haste has worn off, and I'm going to kill her with Sky Hammer. This is what I think is going to happen. And at that point, I win. Why would they go for this instead of AP Drain? Oh, he doesn't have AP Drain. He is a ninja. So he could not... Uh, yeah, that is strange. Maybe it's the wrong sub job, or maybe I think their team is not that accurate, so I think he needed this for the, um, he needed this for the accuracy of, of Decider of Fate. Uh, but now we have Power of the True Kings and Sky Hammer on her, so she is going to die. So we pop. Oh no, she doesn't die. The, we needed the second hit to pop. Quite unfortunate. How much AP do we have on June? 54. We do have enough for a guaranteed hit. I don't even need to move. I can save CT and play again before King Mont. So let's see. If I cast it here, I need to cast it here. I don't like this, but I'll hit my own friend. Oh, I'm fine with that. We're gonna start setting things up. Where can this guy reach? Alright, well, let's just go back up. Hit June back? No, no thank you. That would be terrible. Uh, but yeah. I think he can do 1200. Maybe not, actually. This guy's so... He's got 800 attack. 
Uh, and Noctis has 40 defense right now. Plus, he still has a barrier. Right? Uh, no, his barriers are out. Because he got a four-hit chain. So, Mont can't do much, I think, at that point. Why is he running away? What is that going to change? Buddy, I've already won if you run away. Like, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, I guess he gave up. But I'm not going to chase after him for I don't know what reason I would. I feel like playing it safe. I don't want Noctis to die at least. Joom can try to 1v1 King Mont. That's fine. You know what? He's just going to poison me and then run away. I don't want that to happen. If he wants to move away from me, then he has to move back into me with all those buffs in haste. Yeah, they messed up the second Leela did not attack. I feel when they had that one turn where they could have leela my entire team, well, my Leela and Noctis, that would have been their victory condition right there. Uh, they didn't seize it, so now they're kind of in trouble. So this is uh, me being a very conservative player and not wanting to give them a Berserk, because Berserk is not fun for a tank. You can Poison Mist uh, and then... No, I don't think, no. So if you use Poison Mist, it, ends your, it, it counts as your movement, but you can move before it. And something most people don't know is Poison Mist poisons around the place where you start from, not the place where you finish from. So you can't poison somebody from far away. Okay, so we won. GG. That was uh, an interesting match for sure.